Hi, my name is Katie Brosnan. I'm a registered nurse here in Austin, Texas, and I'm going to tell you how to remove a bee stinger. This is something that commonly happens to a lot of people, and there are a couple different ways to do it. The most effective way that I have found is to actually not use a tweezer, but is to use something to scrape the stinger away in the direction that it came in. So. I usually use a license or a credit card, something that's a hard, straight surface that I can scrape the stinger away. And the reason why you want to scrape it away, as opposed to using a tweezer, is if you use a tweezer, you're actually squeezing the venom that's within that stinger into the body and creating more of an inflammatory response in that direct area. Now, after you get the stinger out, the first thing you want to do is either rinse off your finger wipe it with alcohol or in my case I I use I really like to use um, baking soda and so what that's going to do is immediately start to extract the venom that is right in that area and it's going to decrease the potential for you to have either an anaphylactic reaction if you have reactions to bees or to have an acute response right in the area where the bee has stung you and that's one of the best ways to effectively remove a bee stinger